Welcome back to LabFam Podcast, where we explore the evolving landscape of employment, fertility patterns, and family choices. Today, we're delving into a fascinating study that examines the complex relationship between working from home and fertility intentions during the COVID-19 pandemic. This research, conducted in Poland, offers valuable insights into how this unprecedented global event reshaped our thinking about work and family. The study uses longitudinal data, tracking individuals' overtime, to observe how the shift to remote work influenced their plans to have children. Now, conventional wisdom might suggest that the flexibility of working from home would encourage people to have kids. After all, it potentially eases the challenges of balancing work and family life. However, the findings of this study paint a more nuanced picture. Surprisingly, the research reveals a general negative association between having access to home-based work and fertility intentions, particularly among women. This counterintuitive result raises some important questions. Why would the option to work from home discourage people from having children, especially during a time of such upheaval? The researchers propose several explanations, grounded in the specific socio-economic context of Poland. One key factor is the financial insecurity faced by many women in lower occupational positions. They may have worried that even a temporary break from work for childbirth could jeopardise their long-term economic stability, especially during a period of heightened uncertainty. Another crucial element is the persistent gender inequality in Polish society. Women continue to shoulder the primary responsibility for housework and childcare, even when they also work outside the home. The pandemic exacerbated these burdens. As childcare facilities closed and families struggled to adapt to new routines, for some women, home-based work may have simply added another layer of stress, making the prospect of expanding their families even less appealing. However, the study also uncovered some important exceptions to this general trend. Women who were already primarily responsible for housework and childcare, and those in households facing financial difficulties, actually showed a positive correlation between home-based work and fertility intentions. For these women, working from home may have offered a way to save on work-related expenses, like commuting, or to better manage the competing demands of work and family. It's a reminder that the impact of home-based work is not uniform and varies depending on individual circumstances. From a methodological standpoint, the study acknowledges certain limitations. The data couldn't perfectly distinguish between access to HBW and actual usage. There's also the potential for selection bias, as certain types of individuals may be both more likely to have access to home-based work and more likely to have specific family plans. These are important considerations for interpreting the results. Despite these limitations, this research makes a significant contribution to our understanding of the complex interplay between work and family. It underscores the importance of considering the broader societal context when evaluating the impact of home-based work on fertility decisions. Factors like economic conditions, gender roles and access to childcare all play a crucial role. Looking ahead, this study raises important questions for future research. How will the long-term effects of the pandemic and the rise of remote work reshape family dynamics? What policies can be implemented to support families, regardless of their work arrangements? These are critical questions that require further investigation. As the future of work continues to evolve, it's essential to continue exploring these complex relationships. We need to understand how home-based work affects different groups of people and what steps can be taken to create a more equitable and supportive environment for all families. This research is a valuable starting point. 
paving the way for future studies that will delve even deeper into the changing landscape of work and family life.